The freeze key. I found that this is a key that's oftentimes misunderstood when you're first learning the console. Here's what it doesn't do. It doesn't stop your fixtures from moving, and it also doesn't halt playback. The freeze key is all about priority. Specifically, it gives the parameters that are within your programmer priority over any parameters that might be played back within a queue. Here's how that works. By default, the MA console asserts your parameters in a latest takes precedence mode. Suppose I grab a group of lights and bring them to full in the programmer. Cool, does what you would expect. But if I then play a queue where those same fixtures have a stored value of zero intensity, they're going to turn off. That's because the console is seeing that zero value as the latest value and latest takes precedence. If you were watching the programmer, you might have noticed that the intensity values for my fixtures were also knocked out. Playback is taking control, and that means you can't oops your way out of this one. You might be thinking, this sucks, why would I ever want to do that, and how do I make it stop? There's actually plenty of times that this can be useful, and I'll give you an example at the end, but for now, let's look at how freeze keeps it from happening. Think of freeze as a mode, sort of like how highlight is a mode. When the key is lit, you're in freeze mode, and your playback cues cannot overtake any value in your programmer. In freeze mode, your programmer has priority. If you're coming from a hog console, this is the way you're used to working. For example, if you tell a light to be at full and in green, no cue can override that. Of course, if there is no position information in the programmer, those playback values can still be applied. Freeze doesn't hold any particular fixtures or values in your programmer. You can clear out and change just as you normally would. All freeze does is assert that the values in the programmer cannot be overtaken by values in playback. It's also not a park function. If I pull the grandmaster down, those lights are certainly going to zero. For a lot of programmers, the freeze mode is one that's on all the time. For me, I've got it on about 95% of the time. I mentioned there are moments when the console's default LTP settings are useful. For me, if I'm in a live show and something's changed on stage, for example, maybe I have to bring up lights in an area where we normally wouldn't light within that queue, but I know that in the next queue I will no longer need those lights and I'd like them to gracefully crossfade out. In this instance, I'll just turn off the freeze key before I take that next queue. I get the graceful change and it saves me from having to clear the programmer out. Of course, am I going to turn freeze back on immediately after I take that queue? Yeah, you bet I am. Thank you